Reducing malnutrition, which affects almost a third of children in Uganda, is a necessary step for Uganda to achieve its vision of becoming a middle-income country by 2040. Improving nutrition will save lives, help more children learn in school and improve the economic productivity of the country. Uganda is committed to addressing malnutrition. It is included in the second National Development Plan and a multi-sectoral strategy to reduce malnutrition is being implemented. This requires a skilled, creative and innovative group of leaders. USAID's Uganda Nutrition Fellowship, implemented by Food and Nutrition Technical Assistance Project, works with talented young nutrition graduates to develop the next generation of leaders who will continue Uganda's fight against malnutrition. The Uganda Nutrition Fellowship Program officially started in uh, 2013, June 2013, but it was a result of an internship program that existed. And that internship program was to fill a human resource gap within the Ministry of Health. The Ministry had a new head of nutrition at that time, and there was a general human resource gap within the nutrition unit. So, uh, Food and Nutrition Technical Assistance Project in its year two uh, had a request from the sector to help them fill that gap. In Uganda, we have uh, a challenge that after the university, most of the jobs that are available are for the experienced people. So, the idea of the fellowship to work or to have interns attached to big organizations was very beneficial for me because I was able to, one, learn while I was in the organization. The exposure I got with my mentors and experts in the field is one of the best that I cannot replace. I could not have gotten it without the fellowship being there as a platform. I have supported in training many health workers to manage severe acute malnutrition. So that skill that I got was because of the fellowship. My best highlight of the fellowship experience was getting to interact with the policy makers in the nutrition arena. And this included the ministers, um, the department heads, and these are the people behind the policies, the guidelines, and the, all the documents that guide the different projects and the different individuals in implementation of nutrition activities in Uganda. So after the first set of uh, internships that we had, we looked at the output of that, the students who had gone through the whole year, and we had a discussion with them. And we identified that even though they had been with different organizations and different placements that we had put them, uh, they, they really they still lacked some skills. We felt one year was too short. They needed more time. Through the program, fellows gain on-the-job experience and mentorship at host organizations such as hospitals and clinics, non-government organizations and government ministries. At World Vision, we've been working with different platforms. One of them has been the nutrition care groups, where we have a group of mothers, 10 to 15, who we train in essential nutrition actions, and we encourage them to continue meeting monthly and discuss these uh, nutrition actions so that mothers are encouraged to stay healthy and also produce healthy babies. We've also worked with uh, small medium enterprises. We've been supporting them. We gave them some machines. We gave them uh, protective wear. One of them in particular has been producing a healthy porridge, nutritious porridge. It has been mixed with uh, maize, soya and uh, millet. So it has been very helpful to the children. He have been working as a nutritionist as well, handling more of behavior change communication. We would talk to people by using the IEC materials. We also use the drama to communicate to people. Now as a fellow there, I've been attached so much into look, uh, ensuring quality of the family life school. I've basically um, helped the nutrition unit to avail uh, nutrition reference materials to the public through the formation of the mini library and the nutrition website. Uh, my fellowship focus on strengthening my central approach.
approaches for nutrition in Uganda. Um, Uganda has been implementing the Malcetro approach to nutrition for the last almost five years, but the gains and the outcomes are still minimal. The type of work I've done as a fellow in Community Connector project involves working with the um, first 1,000 days of life, uh, that is building skills in nutrition and health. The project uh, works from the district level down to the community structures. This has enabled me to understand the multi-sector approach of nutrition and understand how nutrition is a cross-cutting issue. Fellows participate in professional development workshops and retreats to build various skills like leadership, communication and management skills and are challenged to develop an individual project related to their work which enhances their critical thinking. From the professional development workshop we're able to build a stronger bond as a fellows yeah so it was uh, the lots of team building activities and I thought that was very important even at the end of the fellowship for us to you know keep in touch so the professional development workshops did not only equip us with the skills but helped us form a bond and you know that strong network so even as we walk away from the fellowship now go our own ways we still have that connection my project was about drawing up a framework for them to establish a counseling service for mothers and children and for being able to set up a breastfeeding corner at their office with mothers being allowed to bring their children to work they really have more time to breastfeed less time to worry about how the child is doing at home. And so they can focus and actually give you more productivity. I've worked on a directory of nutrition stakeholders supporting the health sector, which is basically stakeholder mapping, knowing who is, which partners are working where, what they're doing and what coverage, and how it can help us as a Ministry of Health improve our services. I have developed a checklist to use in the outpatient therapeutic care where the checklist basically collects information from the mothers who come to the clinic so that we can obtain the challenges they are facing that could have possibly caused the malnutrition in their children. Meanwhile, their host organization gained an additional staff member who is highly motivated and well qualified to support their ongoing work to improve nutrition in Uganda. The, the kind of mentorship that we gave to the fellow, Lydia, that been hosting because the whole idea that it's not enough for you to be a nutrition expert, that that alone is not enough, that the issues of nutrition are so ingrained in broader society, issues of poverty, of gender and, and violence and, and, and religion and, and so much, so many complexities in the communities and, and you need to have this broader perspective when you're addressing it. And we've seen her change from the person who came to us uh, a year and a half ago who was very rigid and very strict on nutrition, drawing clear lines, okay this is what I do, this is what I don't do. Somebody is flexible to address things on maternal health, because nutrition is part of maternal health issues, nutrition is part of even HIV. So she's grown a lot from looking at uh, the integrated nature of development, that one thing is linked to many other smaller, smaller problems, and if you're going to address nutrition, you must look at it at that broad, broad level. I think this is a, a program which, is a, which benefits not only the foilers, but also uh, the individual organizations which host these fellows. So I would uh, encourage that we continue with the program. So if we are to build the capacities of the young leaders of tomorrow, this has to be taken on. A total of 19 fellows who have graduated so far is just a drop in the ocean. So uh, we need to find a ways of uh, ensuring that uh, nutrition fellowship program continues beyond Fanta. That may not come, you know, cheaply, but cheap things are not always rewarding. Because what we have learned in the past four years shows that if you really invest in these young nutritionists, then the country has a lot to gain.